who are staying have grown, which is very good. Thanks to Ellie for coming in on the team. Um, she was very kind to me, I should say, and said, I'm not going to let you go down the road, <laughs> which I greatly appreciate it. Um, I think what we're hoping to do now is, as soon as Allie talks to at least the folks that are staying, um, is go up and just begin occupying, tell them we're back. You know, we'd like to talk to John. Um, the question was asked, is it all right for other people to speak than just one? Yes, of course. We hope just today during this kind of civil disobedience is the time we want to be the most prudent and careful about being very respectful because it's everybody starts getting tense and we don't want to provoke something that can be blamed on us or in which somebody will you know get an arm twisted instead of just a handcuff so please feel free to do whatever your self tells you um, to do we're really trying to push the fact to john who we won't talk to that um all we want, we don't want him to not do his job at this point. We understand he has to do his job. All we're asking is that he not do it this week, that he wait and do it the following week after the council has a chance to vote to move the two rest stops, three from the railroad tracks and four from the science factory to another location around Watson. I'm really excited because just a few minutes ago, we got the fourth counselor to agree to it, they would vote for that. So that's pretty significant. Now we just need either the mayor or one more counselor. And I'm hopeful that the mayor would do this. I think her heart's in the right place, and I think she would just love us to all go away <laughs> instead of the homeless going away. So um, I think we're in a good position, but I think we keep keep on pressing, pressing, pressing. I think that's why we're in a good position. So, Ali, you wanted to talk about something? Um, so, Techniques. sure. Um, I don't know how this is going to end up. I've done this a couple times in my life, and the scenario has always been a little different. Um, what I see happening and or potentially happening is that we go in there, we basically say, you know, we are not going to leave until the city manager comes out and speaks to us. And if they say he's not there, they lied about that yesterday. And yesterday they got us to leave by telling us we get a phone call that we didn't get. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is about accountability. Yeah, this is a city manager that's been lying his butt off for months now. And, you know, if he, and, and the kind of the way I want to frame it, you know, our essential demand is that he hold off to the ninth. That's just a matter of democracy. Let them vote. Let them vote on it. The same way his refusal to speak to us is very much a lack of democracy. And if he's someone who believes in democracy, he will come out and speak to people. Um, I'm envisioning that they are going to tell us to leave. Um, we're going to say we're not going to leave. And either EPD or the Lane County Sheriff will then probably come and tell us to leave, in which case anyone who doesn't want to be arrested, please leave. Yeah, um, Up until I, then, act as if you're there for the rest of your life. Act until, yeah, as we're just not going to leave. Um, you know, we, def we want to make sure that nobody who wants, doesn't want to be at risk is not in any danger at any point. Um, that being said, you know, I can also say that, you know, and for the record, I'm not a lawyer, this is just my personal opinion, um, they don't really want to arrest us, but at the same time, if they have to, it's probably not going to be kid gloves the way it's been in the past. Um, we had 21 people arrested at the Free Speech Plaza last year, and everyone got to go inside, get a ticket, and go out the back. I do not think that will be the case. Um, I think they're much more likely to hold us overnight. Um, and as opposed to the free speech plaza thing, this is not a First Amendment issue, it's straight civil disobedience. You're going to probably eventually end up taking a plea for it. Um, so, you know, everyone I've spoke to individually knows that. I'm just putting it out there again for the record. And you're not a lawyer. Um, and I'm not a lawyer again. Yes, let me just say once again, this is just personal experience. I'm totally not a lawyer. That being said, we do have a legal observer with us. He's also not a lawyer. He's also not a lawyer. That's okay. But has had certain training, so she gets to wear a cool hat, and that's better than nothing. <laughs> and she will be talking to the lawyers, and, and yes. Um, so it, this time, I just, um, every single person who is willing to not leave, not leave, not leave, um, if you could meet me over there for a second, and then um, after that, I guess we'll all go in and ask for a meeting. And if by any chance they have blocked the office, 
office, which is a possibility, is we would just go either in the hallway or else come down to the vestibule and go through the yeah. same whole act. Um, right? Yeah, but I also want to stress, and Jean stressed it, I'll stress again, we want to be as polite as humanly possible. You know, we are no hearing, no, no, yeah, as absolutely, no honesty. you know, as much as I hate using the phrase, we're taking the high road. People may end up getting arrested, but we're still taking the high road. Um, okay.